In a recent Supreme Court decision, Justices B. R. Gawai and K. V. Vishwanathan ruled to grant bail to K. Kavita. This ruling follows a pattern seen in other high-profile cases involving Aam Aadmi Party leaders like Sanjay Singh and Manish Sisodia. Here are ten key reasons why the Supreme Court decided to release Kavita on bail. Investigation complete. Both the Central Bureau of Investigation and the Enforcement Directorate have finished their investigations and filed charges. The Supreme Court felt that keeping Kavita in custody was no longer needed for the investigation. Long trial ahead. Trial is expected to be lengthy with almost 500 witnesses and around 50,000 pages of documents. The Supreme Court pointed out that being in custody for such a long trial shouldn't be used as a punishment. Special consideration for women. The Supreme Court applied a special rule for the Prevention of Money Laundering Act that gives women special consideration in bail matters. The court criticized the Delhi High Court for not applying this rule properly, arguing that Kavita's education and status should not disqualify her from this benefit. Five months in custody. Kavita had already been in custody for over five months. The Supreme Court thought this was enough time, especially since the investigation was complete and charges had been filed. No evidence recorded. Kavita had not had any incriminating evidence found on her, according to her lawyer Mukul Rohatgi. This fact supported the case for granting bail. Flawed lower court decision. The Supreme Court found the Delhi High Court's reasoning flawed, especially its view that an educated or sophisticated woman should be treated differently when considering bail. Prosecution's fairness. The Supreme Court questioned the fairness of the prosecution's approach. They noted that while some accused were granted bail as approvers, Kavita was denied bail, raising concerns about selective treatment. No risk of fleeing. The Supreme Court noted that Kavita, being a former member of Parliament and a current member of the Legislative Council, was not likely to flee and was considered a low-flight risk. Statements by co-accused. The Supreme Court found that statements from co-accused who later turned approvers were not enough to deny Kavita bail, especially since there was no independent evidence to support these statements. Privacy concerns. The Supreme Court was not convinced by the argument that Kavita formatting her phone was tampering with evidence. They highlighted that such actions are often taken for privacy reasons and don't necessarily indicate guilt. What are your thoughts on this? Do let us know in the comments below and keep watching India TV for more updates.